Hey guys, this video is brought to you by Journey for the Crown, a video game that I've been working on for a couple years now. And what I want to show you is how I create a uh, cloak using uh, Unity 5's um, cloth component. And as you can see, I, the cloak's on right now and I'm very happy with the results. It looks realistic. I've tried so many different versions of trying to get a cloak to work for for my game and nothing's came close to is the look that this is provided um, now in order to get up to where I am right now um, you will need a, uh, a character model and I've used blender for my characters and I also used uh, a thing called rigify if, if you're looking for that you can go to Google and just Google blender rigify and there's a pile of tutorials and uh, things you can follow in order to get a model all rigged up. It's, uh, it's definitely um, a different video you'd want to watch if you haven't been familiar with that. Um, but realistically, if you're uh, thinking about working on a cloak before a character, you should start and turn around and start working on your character before you get to the cloak part. Um, now in this model here I want to show you what I originally had set up because I did try the uh, Unity 5 um, cloth component when it first came out and I, I found it overwhelming I didn't quite understand it there was definitely no tutorials on YouTube for it so I just stuck to my uh, original plan and I built a an armature that acted like a uh, an animator for the for the, the cape it was a terrible idea it it was so much work it literally doubled all my animation work because I had it all built on a separate armature inside my main character and when you import into unity you also have to import all those animations and then put them on a separate layer it was a total pain in the ass I don't recommend doing it if you have done this I would delete it and do what I'm doing here so looking at that old model I'm going to switch over to my final version which gets rid of the armature and the cape is basically just parented to um, my neck bone which is part of the rig of I uh, thing that you use in blender I believe it's attached to the neck bone here or I can't remember which one it is let's see cape is parented to this one org neck so I've just created an empty um, blender object and then attached my cloth cape inside there very simple so once you get that done um, you will uh, notice that um, it imports as one sided there's two ways you can do this you can duplicate the cape itself and then flip the normals so all you do is shift D and then spacebar flip normals now you have yourself it's like a double-sided texture now I I opted to not do this because I noticed it looked kind of buggy so I undo all that and then um, going and importing it into unity I used a double-sided texture shader and uh, the result was much better looking so as you can see here there's my coat cloak which I can't see on this side because it needs to have a double-sided texture so change that over to now um, in order to get a double-sided texture you might have to um, go to the asset store and purchase one I just luckily had one inside one of my um, plant uh, assets that I purchased it had a double-sided foliage uh, shader and it seems to work all I had to do is change the shininess and the color and uh, it seems to work for now so once you set that now you can see both sides properly and it's, uh, it's attached properly so next thing we want to do is make sure that we find where this is on the character so I just hit the F key so here's my cape slot and the cape 
Now what I'm going to do is add the cloth script now. And if you notice it, it added a skin mesh renderer. So, so we're going to have to remove the mesh renderer that Blender imports with and also the mesh filter. Now if I hit play, my cloak should just fall straight to the ground. Yeah, straight to the ground. So in order to stop that from happening, we need to use the constraints of our cloak. Now this is kind of like pinning it is in Blender. So in order to pin, we need to you need to hold the shift key down. You can click it or you can shift and drag. And just grab all these little vertices. Now some of them you can't see, but it's hard to get them all, so you have to turn around here. But you need to get everything that's around the neck. Now uh, that looks oh, there's one in there. I think that's it. Now I also picked these last two on the side here just because it, it helped it from flipping over my head. This kind of keeps it locked down here. And then when you're done selecting them all, just hit this button here and make sure it's set to red. And that should stick it to your neck so that cloak can uh, show off its cloth material. There we go. Oh, that's beauty. It's perfect. Now let's see what it looks like when I'm running. So that looks pretty good. Now I do want it to to like bounce around and stuff when my legs hit it. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some colliders to the uh, the cloak here. Now it comes with two types of colliders, capsule and sphere. I typically use capsule. Um, sphere kind of, it works a bit differently. Um, it works with uh, two spheres in one, kind of like um, uh, like a punching bag like thing. I stick to the capsule colliders for my my humanoid um, animations just because they, they, they work really well on uh, your arms and legs. So let's just quickly show you um, how it looks when you add a collider in here. I'm just going to have to change the size here because it's really big. Zeros in there. Okay, so it's down there. I'm just going to pause this for now. Move this out of here. There we go. Let's make it a bit bigger. Oh, perfect. And we're going to remove the mesh render because we don't want to see it. Now let's unpause that. And get this thing out of the way. Now, find our cloak. We're just going to add in, let's lock this panel. We're just going to add in this capsule to the collider section. Then we can move it in and see how it bounces around. I'm essentially going to just attach this little capsule to my leg so it'll kick the cloak back a bit and make it look, make it look really badass. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, I, I think I know where all of these bones are that I want to attach a capsule on. Uh, a capsule on. So you'll have to get a little bit more familiar with your uh, your rig and, and where things should go. Um, if I quickly look at 
my model, I want to attach it. I want to attach it to this bone here and this bone on, oh, of course, on each side, and then my uh, my chest bone, which is this one. So let's go back to Unity. Now here's the chest. Let's add a, uh, a sphere or capsule in here. Change the size. Oops. Now the scaling on mine's kind of all messed up because of the actual armature changes it. So you might have to have a really ridiculously low radius in here in order to get it properly sized. Make sure you remove the um, mesh render as well. And let's resize this. I want it to be a little bit to be a little bit more wide like that center it off again be a bit taller let's try that center it off oh that looks perfect nice okay I'm gonna copy this I'm going to add it to add it to my shin here. I'm going to zero it off. Yeah, that looks good. Let's let's bring it down though. Don't want it that high. And right down to my foot. And the radius should be like that. Zero it off. Do that. Looks pretty good. Now let's duplicate it and add it to the other leg. Zero this off. Perfect. And the next one was my forearms. I'm going to duplicate that, dump it right, yeah, it's right in here, zero this off, see what it looks like, almost, a little bit too big, and tall, oh shoot, there we go, so stretch that down a bit to my hand, and then my elbow. I like that. Next arm. Zero that out. And that should be perfect. Right on. Okay, so next thing. Grab your cape. Let's lock it. And grab all five of these capsules. And just dump them right in here. Now let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good so far. Let's start animating. Oh yeah, it's great. Now, it looks like it's still going through my butt a bit. So I could stretch down the chest one a bit further. I think that's what's causing that. Chest that one and oh, I still got it locked here let's change that a bit bigger and I'll bring it out a bit more too center it out bring that 
Um, there, that should fix it. Oh, while I'm here too, I wanna I wanna change the uh, just the way it reacts. I found it to be a little bit too uh, loose. I want it to be more stiff. So this bending stiffness is what I chose. I ended up choosing one. It seems to be the max amount. Um, I didn't like the way it looked. Anything less than one. I wish I could take it higher, but I can't. Um, and then dampening, I set to 0.4. I thought anywhere between um, 0.25 and 0.5 looked really realistic for a cloak. And the rest of this stuff was fine the way it was. You could um, could use some external acceleration. I, I tried messing around with this by it's almost like a like a wind in a way. I ended up putting negative 10 on the y-axis to push it down, but after playing around with it, it uh, I didn't find it really looked that it didn't really need that. But if your scene had some sort of wind, I suppose you could um, script into this and um, really add something cool to it. Anyways, um, so I think this will give me the look that I'm after. Let's see what this looks like. Set them to run. Oh yeah, see that's way better. Look at that. Barely any clipping. I can see his ankle in there, but you'll never notice that. And then in the real game, no one's going to care. That looks perfect. Now let's see what it looks like in the, the live game when you start adding some gear into them. Now, bear in mind, my uh, 3D drawings aren't exactly uh, top-notch because my game is uh, like a a bird's eye isometric view type game so you're never going to see the characters this close but from a distance that cloak looks really awesome there. put some gear on this guy hands Arms, feet, legs, put that on. Make sure a belt. How about a shield? Oh yeah. Yeah, he looks badass. Very happy with that. Anyways, I hope you like this video. I uh, it's uh, first of many, I'd like to say, but I'm um, just trying to see if uh, this interested anybody. If you want to uh, follow my game or my channel, that'd be uh, that'd be very helpful. And uh, if if you manage to recreate what I've done here with the cape, I'd love to see uh, your uh, ending result. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. I, sh I should have uh, more tutorials um, about uh, figuring things out in Unity and Blender. Um, I'm also going to be trying to promote my game as well uh, when I do release it, which I haven't a clue when it's going to be done because I keep finding more things to do. But uh, yeah, you can find me uh, on Facebook or visit my website, uh, journeyforthecrown.com. I'd love to see if uh, you'd share my stuff around and uh, maybe increase the popularity of this game. I'd love to, love to get it out sooner for you guys, but... Making games isn't easy. It's a lot of work. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, stay tuned. Um, and uh, best of luck with your cloak-making skills. Thanks.